This year of free agency has been nothing short of insanity, as we are seeing some of the most ridiculously bold moves ever in the National Football League. One of the biggest stories is certainly the Seattle Seahawks getting Jimmy Graham and a fourth round pick from the New Orleans Saints from Max Unger and a first rounder. This trade has major fantasy football implications for both teams and today we're going to break it all down for you. Let's start with the centerpiece of this move. Jimmy Graham has been a dominant force in the NFL ever since earning major playing time for the Saints. He is a red zone threat of the highest tier, the likes of which Seattle has been desperate for. As far as their production last year, they were graded 20th overall in the red zone. You won't see Jimmy Graham getting muscled off the ball like Ricardo Lockett did during that last gas play of Super Bowl 49. This trade makes all of the Seattle weapons better and gives the Seahawks that major aerial option that they haven't had over the past two years during their Super Bowl charge. The Saints, on the other hand, will have to live lean for a little while. This move addresses their ridiculous cap situation as they have multiple holes to fill right now on both defense and offense, and the shipping of Jimmy Graham out certainly gives you a sort of rebuildy sort of feel, but this isn't entirely a cap-based move. With Max Unger, they are getting the fourth-ranked center in the National Football League according to Pro Football Focus. If the Saints can go back to basics and pound the rock, they have just as good a chance as anyone in that crazy NFC South division. That being said, from a fantasy football perspective, there will be a variety of downgrading for any player sporting a fleur-de-lis in the NFL next year. The biggest winner of this trade for fantasy owners will be in the form of one Russell Wilson. Deadly efficient with Seattle's offense, delivering a variety of play action and zone read looks, Wilson will see a huge uptick in the completion percentage, yardage, and TDs thanks to the versatility Graham will provide. Want to stack up the box? Graham beats you over the top. Double up on Graham at the line, it's beast mode time and Marshawn Lynch will feast. As far as this year's draft is concerned, Lynch was always going to be a top first rounder and he mo might move up a spot or two. Graham is a second rounder and I don't see him moving away from the second tight end off of the board. He's going to stay right there. Wilson, however, Russell Wilson will definitely jump up from around the fifth round to you want to select him somewhere in the late, even the late third round, early fourth round, because he is going to go, especially with the Jimmy Graham signing. So where does everyone else fit? How has free agency changed the rankings of your favorite player? Join us for our brand new show, Pigskin Pointers, which is coming soon. In our first episode, I will break down the top 10 quarterbacks for the upcoming NFL season and talk about planning the first few rounds of your fantasy draft. Please like, subscribe, and share it to all your friends, but spare the 49ers fans. They've gone through enough this offseason. They don't need to know just how much better Seattle is going to be this year. I'm Ryan Phillip Lamb, and I'll see you next time for Breaking Down.